We're back playing City Skylines, where everything is fine, it's always fine, in our perfect city of New Walker, where last time we built our walkable city center, where we squashed together all of our public transit infrastructure. And since we forced everyone to one location, why don't we build a giant shopping center right next door? Good idea? You better believe it. So hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines where yes, we're gonna build that central shopping area for our city, but there is actually a lot more I wanna do today as well. I wanna make a huge new residential block over here and also a main interchange for our city center area. We have a little highway entrance over here, but as our population grows, that's not gonna suffice. So down over this way, next to our huge shopping area, that's where we're going to have our major highway intersection. And order of operations here is we need to build this intersection first so we can figure out the road work both in the center of our city and in the new residential area. So we need highway entrances and exits so people coming from deeper in the city can kind of scoot off the highway and go over here. Or if they're over here, they can just scoot back onto the highway. Vice versa for the inbound traffic. So lots to do. We've got to make a little bit of space here. And I want to have the main highway exit going just straight this way. So it's easy for people to kind of get off of the highway. I presume most people will want to go off the highway here as well. This is kind of, again, the main highway exit. And we hit the ground on both sides. And this is where things get weird. Let's have a four-way, one-way road going out in this direction and another going out in that direction. And that handles people getting off the highway. Now for people getting on the highway, we can kind of just do the same thing, except we can go from here to there. And that kind of works out pretty well, except there are a million problems with this still. I'm always like, oh, this is pretty much a highway interchange. We're done, right? No, we're not. Which is why I love to boop things so much because wow, the whole thing is done. <laughs> it's great and should work out pretty well. Now the vehicles can enter the system through here. They can go up to the highway that way or there's a side bypass that goes this way and then people can kind of loop around and go back up onto the highway in the opposite direction that way. There's probably gonna be a big problem with that, but I think this still might work out. If not, we can change it around. And of course, the system is mirrored on the other side. I just like how it looks cool and it doesn't really waste too much green space. With that done though, a huge variable is out of the way and we can start on the road layouts for the other sections. The main thing is I want huge car dependent roads going through the main arteries. One problem I've had with the rest of the city so far is I haven't respected roads enough and we have a couple traffic issues, like a two lane road going to a four lane road, then over to here, the cars usually are backed up and there are a lot of traffic issues. So we have to be super mindful of getting the traffic where it needs to be and giving people options as well. Because no matter how walkable we make things, there will always be cars in the city. But the great thing now is with our interchange done, we know where the main highway entrance and exits are so we can develop the area around that. So this road needs to be huge because all the traffic is gonna come out here. But there's gonna be a lot of traffic that wants to go towards the highway as well. So let's build another big road going that way. It'll be a little less busy than the inbound, but we still really gotta provide those lanes. Then we have this nice boulevard here, thinking into the residential district. We have this kind of like curve going on, and we have this like bike lane road over this way. And we kind of could just have that continue through here to that road we just built, and there we go. Back to this though, in our huge shopping center area, I just realized, you know, we should probably also build our stadium here. Football stadiums are awesome for profit and for tourists. So we want one in the city and if it's gonna be anywhere, why not here? Could we have a road that goes from here to there? Yes, yes we could. And then will the stadium fit in here? 
please. Please. The dream. Uh, it does. There's like this one tileless space though. That's really annoying. You could fill that in with the trees. Maybe fill in the back with trees as well. I'm not sure. Ah, it's such a perfect placement for the stadium though. It's super loud. It's by the main highway interchange. It, yeah, it, it gotta stay there. I'll tinker with it a little bit to make it look better. And then for the rest of the roads around it, I don't want to connect up to these roads, actually. I want this to be something of a roundabout. So the cars will go through here, and then pedestrians can just walk over this way. I just don't want to intermingle the traffic from over here with the stadium, because since there's so many people walking around over here, if there is a bunch of traffic in this space too, the whole system would collapse. It would be really bad. So this works better. And now, when people go in here, they leave, they can go directly to the highway. Perfect. And then for the inbound people, the logic kind of makes sense that we have a one-way road going from this other main road right into that roundabout. So this intersection is going to be super busy, but the rest of the area should be good. So aside from actual, like, just zone shopping, I want to include this nice posh mall here because it's kind of a loud building, but a really good tourist attraction. And then there's another mall, this thing, the Grand Mall, that we'll put right next door. And since this is a kind of a car area, you can also put some extra parking lots like back here too. And that's pretty nice. Throw some trees in there, some trees over there, some probably just some zoned uh, shopping right in the back. That should work out. And for our centerpiece in the middle, well, again, this is a pretty car-centric area. So we probably just want more parking? Eh? It's pretty concrete, eh? It does kind of function. The trees look pretty good. We just have to move the parking lots a little bit so they're not overlapping as much. Now, does that create enough space? You better believe it! Not the bad! But I'll definitely need to touch it up a little later. We have a lot of this area now ready to work on, so let's deal with it. And again, we're gonna work a lot with the roads, just so we know what's going on here. Also, so we follow the patterns of the rest of our city. Let's continue this road down that way. Uh, we could have another road to here. Maybe this could just go straight down. That could be kind of cool. What if we just build... <laughs> let's just do this. We're gonna build straight through there. Build to there, and then delete that. Cool. Cool. And connect that right up to there. And it's all good. And maybe that's everything for the road system. Because for the rest of the space, we can just make it walkable. So like over here, we could connect this up with just a walking path. Then we can zone a lot of these squares. Walking path over to here. Maybe scoot it down so it's part of this intersection. Connects with that walking path over to this shopping area. And we can just kind of have fun at this point. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's way more important is getting in all of the public transit stuff first. Yeah, we gotta get the trams in specifically. We want the trams to connect back up to our city center here. This is where we have our main tram stops. So I guess we have a tram going this way. And <laughs> thanks for being here, Path, but you gotta actually go. We need to have this in your place. Is there like a tra There are tram walking paths, right? Yeah. We just have it mixed together. Ooh. That looks cool. Okay, you know what? That works. Why not? Then let's continue down this way. And this is gonna be weird, but we're gonna build a tram track adjacent to this main road. We don't want cars stopping on the left and the right and holding up traffic or trucks dropping stuff off. We want everything to be moving through here as efficiently as possible. Back to the tram though. This is kind of unfortunate, but really this seems like the only place to connect up the last bit of tram track. Kind of liked how that little triangle thing looked, but I think that's what we're gonna have to do. And then maybe we can have some walking paths going through here. So it utilizes the space a little bit better. I don't know. 
Of course, like with all of our other projects, I wanted to think things over a little bit and improve things where I could. And one main thing is, why not have a main walking boulevard? So we have the road, and now we have the walking boulevard for people to scoot down. Added in a couple parks as well, because of course we're gonna need them. And then a lot more walking paths, just everywhere to grid out the area a little bit more, use more tiles. And then over this way, I tried to just mess it up, I guess you could say, because things looked a little too blocky. Now it's a bit better. We have some odd shapes here and there, different sized roads, and it's a lot better, I'd say. So last thing before we zone it all and get it going is I want to build a bunch of services. And one big thing I want is this massive high capacity hospital. It looks awesome. It's very kind of a, I don't know, kind of has like a 70s kind of vibe, 70s modern-ish kind of vibe. And I want this somewhere. And we can't build it next to all of our shopping stuff because that doesn't make sense. So we'll have it somewhere in here. Looks like it could fit nicely somewhere. Uh, could fit down here, but that doesn't make much sense. This road's already kind of blocked off. Again, we don't want it near the shopping center area. Okay, I thought this is gonna fit in a lot easier, but we're having a bit of a problem. I am not gonna live with that one tile there. I, I guess, I guess this is it then, eh? Yeah. We're just gonna build it right there. And while we're at it, we're trying to make the perfect city. So let's make an elder care center and a child care center. This thing has to fit somewhere nicely, right? What about right up here? Yes? Perfect. And plus it's close to the hospital now. And then for the child care center, uh, let's have this up over this way. We have this giant high capacity elementary school that I moved from over here to over here, just so it's closer to transit. It didn't make sense kind of just off on its own over there. So now this is just gonna be residential next to the parking lot and that's all good. Last thing is we need some kind of monument in here. They already built the friendly neighborhood park right up this way because we had a bunch of green space. So we need something different, kind of like a high rise. We have a bunch of high rises in here, right? Ah uh, yes, the Colossal Order offices. Yes, perfect for a residential zone. No, um, something like smaller, right? Yes, perfect. See the skyscraper. It's small and looks nice. Uh, we can just have it right here. Technically it's an office tower, but we're gonna throw it in the middle of this area. And that's the last major building I want, so I guess it's time for zoning, which is already done. It's like we already knew this is gonna be a giant residential zone and it wasn't crazy complicated. This is all gonna be shopping, so all that is high density shopping. Down here, I don't know what we're doing with this space, so we're gonna leave it for now. And I guess we are ready to let her rip. Everything is good, <laughs> except for our money, no. Uh, maybe we pause one of these buildings, 1200 per week, 960. This thing costs a ton, but it looks like we're about to have a game like right now. And you know, if our fans cheer loud enough, we'll win the game and we don't need to worry about money. So let's gamble on that. And all that's working out. People are moving in over here too. Good. Hope they like the new space. And then how's the highway thing working out? I increased the capacity of some of the roads here. But you know what? Pretty much anything will work while we're under 50,000 population. So we'll check on that later. But you know what's not working for me? This. I, I can't stand this. Go, go away, parking lots. You know, it didn't even work from the beginning. Why would I even build a giant, perfect, walkable city and then make the centerpiece a parking lot? It makes no sense at all. We have some kind of like cool park or something. Oh, even better, a fantastic fountain. We will force you right there. Okay, much better. Oh, and the game's done too. Did we win? We did! Big money, 35 grand per week. And look at all the people walking over to the transit. Oh, ho, ho. you'll love to see it. And yeah, there's hardly any traffic leaving at all. Good. Oh, Grand City Baseball Park. <gasps> Waste Processing Complex. I've wanted this for a while. Nice. Overall, yeah. I suppose everything is working out well. 
And the last thing to do is just tinker and add in a little detail here and there. Now look at this. I've added in blue. So we have this kind of cool blue area for people to meet up before they go to watch the big game or go shopping or whatever. It's like, hey, where are we meeting after we get off transit? The blue square. Or I guess you could say the fountain. Either or, you got a place to meet. And the entire area has been decoed. Added in the rest of the trees we needed. A couple trees over this way. Changed the tree types on the road so it all looks good. Benches, parks, all the fun jazz. I really have to say that this turned out fantastic. Oh, and also, I was reading over your guys' comments from the last video and made some very sought after changes. Like making this tram track go underground and not through like the busiest intersection in the city. And then for our metro, I scooted this in the other direction. So now this metro is in the same place, but the metro line is fixed and not all knotted up. But anyway, I'd say our projects today are complete and that is gonna be all for now. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye